We're going to talk about the treatment for ischemic stroke, specifically the medication TPA, tissue plasminogen activator. And that P is very important because it gives you an idea of what's going on in the body. So the P stands for plasminogen. And this TPA medication actually converts plasminogen into plasmin. And in the body, plasmin acts as an enzyme to take a clot and dissolve it. So if you've got an ischemic stroke and you've got a clot blocking a blood vessel, giving TPA means that you can actually restore active blood flow. Now, in some cases, you'll hear the term R, small r, TPA. And they're referring to the fact that the TPA is manufactured using recombinant biotechnology techniques. But in this straightforward video, I'm just going to say TPA. We're not going to worry about the R. Now, the number game about how important is it to reestablish blood flow goes like this. In every minute that the brain is not perfused with blood, there are 1.9 million neurons lost. There are 14 billion synapses that don't take place and 7.5 miles of myelinated fibers are lost. And so TPA is a wonderful medication. Now I do want to stress that it won't help everyone, even with an ischemic stroke. So let's put this pie chart and look at the actual results in uh, clients. The, for every 100 patients treated with TPA, 32 of them, about a third, are helped. It's a positive experience. Three, which is a very small slice, are actually harmed by the administration of TPA. But you can see we're not even talking about a 50% success rate. Even given that, there is very much hope with better earlier administration of TPA that those figures could actually be improved. And so the American Heart Association, in conjunction with the American Stroke Association, has come up with a campaign called Target Stroke. And this is on behalf of the hospitals to get the medication from the door to the emergency department into the vein of a patient with an ischemic stroke in 60 minutes. And I'll show you how that helps. The data actually shows that you need to get the medication started within, for the best results, within 90 minutes of the uh, symptoms of onset. So the slogan of the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association target stroke campaign is that time lost equals brain lost. So that lets you know that we're talking about something very important. So who gets TPA? Well, it's for adults, so you have to be 18 years of age or older. Uh, it has to be less than three, possibly up to four and a half hours after the onset, but we're going to talk about the 90-minute best practice time frame. You will actually give a scale to measure the stroke deficit using the National Institute of Health stroke scale, stroke scale which you have to score over 25 to be a confirmed stroke. Also, you have to not have any active bleeding problem. That's the biggest contraindication for using TPA. Now let's look at the time interval 
from home to the actual giving of the medication. So we start at home. Home is quiet until the person in the home finds that they've got the symptoms of a stroke. They then have from home to the emergency department door, they have 30 minutes to get there, to make the time frame of the 90 minute best results. Now the way to get that done is to activate uh, 911 and make sure that the emergency medical situ system, the EMS, is activated. So we've, we've uh, activated the EMS. Okay, now once at the emergency room, this is where the American Heart Association, American Stroke Association say, from the emergency room to the end of the uh, time, we want 90 minutes. So between the emergency room entrance and actually um, getting triaged, we're going to allow 10 minutes. And that's when you uh, as a patient, give your complaint, your vital signs are taken, they administer an ECG. From the triage to actually to radiology, the door of the radiology department, we're going to give that 15 minutes. And that's time for the emergency department physician to do a history and physical, order lab tests, activate the stroke team and actually get you to the door of radiology. We then go from radiology to actually uh, having the CT scan done and read with a stroke neurology consult and will allow for that 20 minutes best practices. You have the CT scan, the, it's read, it confirms that there is an ischemic stroke, you then will return to the uh, emergency department and they will start the IV with TPA and as you can see they then will have 15 minutes to do that. So they have, uh, you initiate the CT scan within 25 minutes, you interpret the CT scan within 45 minutes, and then you have the procedure last, and it's done in 60 minutes. So you've satisfied best practices, and you've uh, got the patient from home to actually administration of TPA.